guys, welcome back to another Chronicles of an Artsy Autism Mom. Um, today's vlog is a little different because clearly I'm sitting in my car, so this is completely unplanned and unscripted. Um, but today is September the 11th, and if you are uh, an American citizen of the United States and you were around 18 years ago that day changed it really changed the way the world um, dealt with travel um, but I'm going to talk about that and then I'm also going to talk about something sad that happened on yesterday um, in the autism world here in California but before I go on, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. You can um, go and punch that bell right there, and that will double-click it, and you will know about all my uploads whenever they come. If you want to catch me on other social media, on Instagram and on Snapchat, I am at DCD Purple Diva, and on Twitter and on Periscope, it is DCD Purple Diva. No, it's the Purple Diva DC. See, I'm, I'm confused today. And on Facebook, you can find me. It is DC the Purple Divas, um, Art Chronicles of an Artsy Autism Mom. And if you look right on the screen, I've got all of those links right there. So we're gonna go ahead and get into this. Um, talking about September the 11th because I'm sitting here in my car doing this video for you guys. Um, but, um, 18 years ago, um, life was different for me because number one, um, I did not work at home at that time. Now, um, I do work from home, but at that time I didn't work from home and, um, the industry that I work in, um, deals with Wall Street a lot and as a matter of fact, I knew people in one of the Twin Towers because they were, they worked for one of the um, securitization firms that um, we worked with at the time. So, um, I was getting ready for work when we saw the first plane hit the Twin Towers. Um, you know, it was pretty early in the morning here. It was around eight something, almost nine o'clock on the, on the East Coast. But out here on the West Coast, it was like, between it was like almost six o'clock so it was really really early in the morning um and I you know we was I was kept on getting ready and was you know just doing what I needed to do and I saw I actually saw when the second one because the first one I had just turned the TV on but when the second plane hit the other tower I saw that. I mean, it was just, yeah, unbelievable to see it, you know, on live TV from the West Coast. And, um, you know, I have a lot of friends that, that live in New York, still live in New York, and I'm from D.C., and I have friends that worked at the Pentagon. Um, my mom was um, thankfully retired, hallelujah, at that time was here in California when 9-11 happened, or I would have been pretty, pretty, pretty crazy. Um, but I had friends that worked at the Pentagon, and um, one of my friends happened to work in the area that got hit, and she had taken that day off, so she wasn't at work. Um, I remember that they were, they were trying to crash one of the planes here in California, but I remember the most eeriest thing for the next two weeks you heard nothing in the skies because the airports were shut down and all planes were grounded and if you live in a part of the country where you know where you're not you, you're not necessarily hearing planes all the time it's no big deal but um where I lived then and where I live now um, I live pretty close to the airport, to Los Angeles International Airport. I, I live close to LAX. And 
I've, I live within the, you know, airplane path. So when the plane stopped flying, the air was, I mean, it was so quiet. It was just really, really quiet here. And, um, I, I don't think that, um, I'm going to ever forget that. Um, I don't think I'm going to ever forget that day because on that day, a lot of us out of fear gave up some of our rights, whether we realize it or not, because think about it, how we have to go through the airports now, um, you know, body scanning people, um, people can't come to the gates anymore in the airports. None of that is is possible. Um, It even changed the way people handle getting on on trains. Um, It was just a a really, really sad thing that happened. Um, And I, I don't know anyone, whether you were directly affected by it because you lived in one of the cities that was hit, or if you lived in another part of the country, there's n- there's no way that you you could forget that day. Now, my son is obviously this happened when he was very very young, but um, being autistic, his fascination <laughs> was with airplanes. So when the plane stopped flying, he would just stand in our backyard and just look up the up at the air every day looking for the planes and I was trying to explain to him you know about this about the planes but he is almost 24 now so 18 years ago you think think about this this was around the time um you know not too long after um his diagnosis he was very young at the time he was under the age of five um so it was It was um, a tough time for him because, you know, he didn't handle the air silence very well. But um, he was able to get through it. We were all able to get through it. Um, But I think it had a a real impact on the United States. Um, And I just kind of wanted to come on here and come and tell my story about what happened at that time. The other thing that I wanted to talk about is something that's, you know, very, very sad and it's probably every um, autism parent's um, fear of if they have their child in public school and they're not homeschooling their kid. Um, Yesterday here in um, California, actually in um, Orange, California, a um, middle schooler on the, on the autism spectrum who was severely autistic um, was in a, go- a golf cart accident and um, died from internal injuries at the hospital um, last night. And um, this child was 12 years old. 12 years old, and he was severely autistic, which means he was nonverbal. Now they say that he had a aide there with him, and the aide tried to stop him from getting in the cart. My question is. Why was he in a cart, a golf cart, without supervision at that age? Especially because he is severely autistic. Um, The parents obviously are devastated. um, And I just just pray for, for peace for them. I pray for peace for them. I know this is a kind of a more down one of my vlogs, but you know, 
every vlog can't be a happy vlog. You know, I'm trying to give you guys my authentic self. And so today is really just more about, you know, me remembering 9-11, how it affected my son, and remembering that little boy that died yesterday in a golf cart accident who was severely autistic here in California. So guys, um, I'm going to end this right now and